uh, just a quick bit here about Cueve and Kelleher. You've been working with them for the last four years. And I suppose, how has your relationship grown with Cuevine over the last four years at Liverpool? Is it only the last four years? So I don't know exactly when I saw Cueve the first time, but um, it's true. It's um, it's quite a journey from when I saw him the first time to the from the boy I saw the first time to the man he is today. Um, he is I saw from the first second that he's incredible talent. Then um, first John Achterberg, then when Jack Robinson joined us. Um, since then as well, the boys are very very positive and. You know how a football team works, and you know that the uh, goalies are very often separate. So um, I don't see them all the time, but um, I see them in decisive moments. So the development is absolutely top class, and I'm not sure you ask that because I didn't understand everything. But the Alison Becker is the best goal in the world for me. So there, might, there are good goalies out there, but I, 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 this goalie is absolutely insane. But to be one, I was an honest for me, Squeef Gallagher, the best number two in the world as well, um, especially for the way we play. Um, and he had an incredible game. People ask me rightly before the final, like two weeks ago or something, if we, if we will give um, Squeef another game to get some rhythm or whatever. And actually, to be one, I was was the first time when I thought about it. Oh, yeah, there's no rhythm. But that's life of a number two, especially of a young number two that you just have to be ready when you are called and the game he played tonight was absolutely incredible i'm at least uh, sorry so many questions i'm not but i wasn't sure i have the full story of the whole game but at least i can remember at least two incredible saves um probably were more um so he proved that the decision to um line him up was absolutely right and then in a very spectacular penalty shootout he um, showed the whole range of his skill set uh, first and foremost he's a goalkeeper so he saved one but before that he finished one off with his really skilled feet and um oh top class dylan we'll go to neil jones and then zia uh, neil first though hi yeah uh, first of all congratulations um Thank you. secondly uh, you, I'm sure as a manager you would pick that to, that to go through that, to go through 21, 22 penalties and 120 minutes. But in a way, is it the perfect way for this team to win? Because everyone contributed, you know, five subs, 11 penalty takers, clear people along the way. Is that the perfect illustration of what this team's about? Perfect would have been if he could have um, had more players on the team sheet already. Because this is... Uh, um, today I had to make a few really tough decisions and I said the boys in the meeting when all the boys were in, even the boys who are not, were not on the team sheet, I said this here is my squad plus. And now I have to be careful that I don't forget anybody, but um, plus Tyler Morton who was not with us because he was slight, he was here I hope, but not in the hotel because he's slightly injured. Um, uh, Connell, Owen, Harvey from the U18s. Not sure who I missed. All the Elijah, boys were here. Elijah, Elijah played some minutes as well. Elijah exactly played some minutes as well. Um, Adrian saved our ass in 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 Preston. Um, so it is that the whole journey was absolutely outstanding. So we need, we were lucky a little bit. Oh, we had Adrian at, at Preston. Then we scored the two goals um, without Takumi and without Devok. The other goals they scored in the competition, we would not be here. Um, and so then we were three 0 down against Leicester. Um, I think most of the people wrote us up in that moment. So we came back. Wonderful story. Penalty shootout. Won it. Then we had to change the the way. Um, and the home game with Arsenal, nil nil at home against ten man. Um, there was nobody really positive about <laughs> about the, the 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 second leg. And we went there and, and, and won in a really nice manner. Um, so, and now tonight, facing Chelsea, come on. There was like two, two, I'm not sure, two Lions, two Wild Lions um, going for each other. That was absolutely crazy. They started better. We took over and were then better. Second half started again. 
um, with two really good moments of Chelsea. We sorted it again. And then in the end, everybody was tired on the pitch, obviously. And then you have to get through it. And then the penalty shootout is one of the spec most spectacular I ever saw. Um, and yeah, absolutely great to win it like this. This is a, we call it the People's Cup, but the whole journey was a, was a, was a squad um, journey. And that's what I love most about it. Thanks, Neil. Uh, we'll go to Zia, and we haven't got too many other hands, but uh, Zia next, and then this might conclude for us. Um, hi, Jürgen. Hi. Um, now, VAR was actually introduced to minimise the errors in football, as you know. But here we are discussing VAR again, because I personally was very confused about that Matip's disallowed goal. Now, how do you feel about that? And how do you feel about the progress we made with the VAR in football? Based on that decision tonight, I didn't. I didn't see it back. So, was there any doubt about the goal of Joel? I don't know. So, some. I, I, I didn't see it back. So, I cannot say anything about that. But obviously, we are. It's not our favorite subject. Um, um, in a moment, since last night, uh, that was obviously <laughs> a, a tricky one to understand. Um, but today, I, I have no idea. I didn't see anything back. So, cannot say anything about it. But obviously, there's still space for improvement. But that's how it is. Thank you. Thanks, and Chris Bascom from the Telegraph. I think this will conclude because uh, everyone looks like they want to go home. Chris. Yeah. Uh, hi, Jürgen. Um, you, you've spoken a lot in the players. You've spoken a lot about how they, they wanted so much more um, with the trophies. And I just wanted to talk generally about the momentum and the feeling that a win like this gives you with so much more still to play for this season. So that's, it's good. Look, uh, we, we were here and lost the final in a penalty shootout like um, six, seven years ago. Afterwards, nobody talks about it. Eh? It's like you, you were twice in Wembley, you lost both, both finals. It's not that it was a, the tight game. It was clear better in the second half against uh, Man City at that time. Um, should have won in the second half, didn't. Then a shootout, we lose for one. They finished them. They scored with all, I think, and we missed one. I'm not one I was not sure, don't know it anymore. That's life, eh? both a professional sports person. That's life. That nobody, so now in 10 years' time, nobody will ask, How did you win exactly against Chelsea? Just have to win it. Were we better tonight than that time against City? I'm not sure 100%. But we are more experienced. That's a massive difference. We don't get nervous when things don't go well. We, 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 we keep really um, our nerves and stuff like this. We, we are over, how I said, at the start of the game was clear better from, from Chelsea. But all of a sudden we were really in the game and then we let them run and then we were then we were the clear dominant team. I think I'm not sure one hundred percent, but first half was like sixty three something possession against Chelsea. That's not that easy. So um a lot of good football stuff obviously. Um but over one hundred and twenty minutes you cannot you cannot hold them back and, and, and uh and away from your goal. So they had their chances and um obviously they had just scored goals um, more than us, but um, they all were offside. Um, that's um, pretty harsh to take for them, I can imagine. But I'm really happy about the effort and all these kind of things. And yes, it's a big one for us because first time for this group, but um, the ninth time for the club, which is very important as well. Our, our fans were obviously quite happy about the, the whole... Um, the whole uh, thing tonight. So the, the game, the atmosphere was outstanding. Really well, I really loved it. And after the game, it was nice to celebrate with the people after a long time without um, having any reason to celebrate something or not opportunity to celebrate something. Um, and so I'm really happy about the whole thing.